ओके सो आफ्टर डूइंग द पार्ट ऑफ एनटीपी नाउ लेट्स गो टू द सिस लॉग व्हिच इज वन मोर पार्ट ऑफ दिस प्रैक्टिकल सिस्टम लॉगिंग सो वी हैव टेकन वन मोर सर्वर ऑन द एरिया जीरो यू कैन सी ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड डिक्लेयर एज अ सिस लॉग सर्वर इफ यू क्लिक ऑन इट एंड गो टू द सर्विस टैप यू विल सी इफ यू क्लिक ऑन सिस लॉग इट इज बाई डिफॉल इनेबल ओके नाउ वी जस्ट हैव टू डू वन थिंग दैक लॉगिंग शुड हैपन ह्यो on this particular server to make sure like we have to inform r1 r2 and r3 so all the routers should get informed that there is one logging host and what whichever packets are coming when they are monitoring so all the logs should go in that server so it's pretty simple to do that you have to go to any one of this router let's go to r1 first and then enter and get into configuration mode so connect t and just mention that there is a logging host logging host and the mention the ip address of that machine and uh, i remember basically on this network the router was one this ntp server was two and the syslog server was three so 192.168.1.3 enter that's it okay that's it enter just click exit come outside the configuration mode and uh, if you want to verify so you can simply type the command show logging so logging is done some messages will come for your interest if something happens then it will definitely logged so here they are showing that 17 messages have been logged if i minimize this if i go to this this server now and then now inside services tab there is a syslog if i click on it and syslog server dialog box and the select the syslog service button observe the logging message received from the routers i guess we are not able to see uh here the messages should get logged okay fine so i'll just click on clear log once again i'll do the r like same thing for the r2 now let's see let me complete the practical so en enable it get yourself into configuration mode connect t and let's mention the logging host is 192.168.1.3 enter okay and then exit and then fire show logging okay 23 messages have been logged here the message we are getting here fine and similarly you have to do it for r3 but still i'll just verify that whether the ip address is correct or not uh, going to the desktop ip configuration yeah it is 1.3 only so now again going to syslog server going to service tab and uh, syslog yeah so now i hope you all can see the entries coming from the second router because previously i have cleared on the like i click on this button clear log so basically the previous log got clear but now you all can see the output so this was all about syslog practical a simple command you just have to fire a single command okay on each every route like each and every router mentioning that logging will happen on this machine that's it now syslog is over and the last part let's come to the ssh okay that this secure shell protocol which is used for fire the command it's a kind of a terminal network protocol okay basically here now understand the scenario this router will be acting as a server and this pc will be acting as a client i've given the banner here name that this router will be ssh server and ssh client so what we have to achieve through ssh protocol is that that we want to control the router from this terminal like this client okay we should be able to fire the command on the server sitting at this terminal that too very securely and that can be done through ssh protocol okay so let's see how to configure it so the first thing now our focus will go to this router r3 only so click on r3 click enter enable it en now and 
get into configuration mode okay so we are in configuration mode now the first command we have to fire here we have to consider and give the domain name here so ip domain name you can parallelly you all can parallelly refer the manual okay cc na security dot com and then click enter this is how we are configuring the domain name first okay on the router creating router considering router as a server now we have to configure the user for login of course so how user will log in to this server so we have to you know create the user id and password so for that we have to fire the command username will be ssh admin any new username you can give we have to give the or assign the privilege like what user can do so setting the value 15 that means highest possible privilege level it is okay that if somebody will try to log in with this username all privilege all like privileges will be there all privileges will be there okay and uh, we have to also set the password so we just have to write, write secret for it secret and the password you can set anything i'll just follow the command that like this cisco ssh pa55 okay so this is the password okay or i'll just keep the simple cisco pa55 this is the password i'm setting enter so this is the server is ready r3 is ready okay apart from that we also have to configure the virtual terminal lines like how many we want so for that we have to mention line vty 0 to 4 that will the count 5 so now we are configuring configuring the line okay login will be local because it is there in the same network and uh, connection will be only done through ssh protocol so transport input ssh we are securing all the commands accept only ssh connection that mean to say okay this command says that like, accept only ssh connection enter we are configuring the line now we also have to generate the rsa algorithm encryption key pair okay for authentication so first thing what you have to do we have to first erase if there is any key present there so crypto z e r o i z e zero is one more time z e r o i z e that's a command so we are not able to fire the command on the configuration line mode so just kindly exit from here okay do not panic you have to get yourself in the configuration mode back and then fire the same command yeah again it is showing me the invalid if it is not working then it may be like this command may have got depreciated so we'll just directly go with the crypto key so we are in the configuration mode still and this command is not working in our case so let's go and generate the key so for that we have to mention type the command crypto key generate rsa it is still showing me okay something goes gone wrong here k was missing here enter yeah so crypto key generate rsa that thing is asking me to define the host name other than router because you all can see the whole the router name is router so they are asking me to change the name of the router so go to the config and you will see that the router host name is router so just kindly change the name and give it a proper name like r3 this time and then close and come back to cli now you will see that you will instead of router you will see r3 it is okay now fire the same command crypto key generate rsa now it is asking me like how many bits in the modulus you want i will say 1024 okay bit key i want and then click enter okay so key got generated you can simply verify the ssh connection configuration okay simply exit yourself from the configuration mode and then fire the command show ip 
SSH. Okay, so they are saying that SSH has been enabled. Version name is there. Okay. And then there are certain other entries also. If you want to select the version, you can fire those command. But maximum part is done. So now when SSH has been enabled, you have to go to the PC now. So close this. Let's go to the client, this PC on the right hand side. Okay. Uh, come to desktop and go to command prompt okay command now from here we'll try to access the router that is nothing but a server in our case so if you remember the IP address or the network address of this area is was 192.168.3.0 and one was given to the router and two was given to the PC. So let me connect like using the telnet protocol, not SSH 192.168.3.1. Okay. Yeah. 3.1 and enter. So it is trying to connect, but it was closed by the foreign host because you all remember one command I have fired just to make sure that the connection will only be done with the protocol SSH. So from through telnet, it is not allowing me. So now I have to go through SSH. So SSH hyphen L that is I'm trying to log in and I'm giving the username now that was SSH admin. If you remember, which I have, which we have set and giving the IP address of the server which is 192.168.3.1 enter now it is asking me for the password the password was set in my case was cisco pa double five enter and i'm in you all can see now i'm able to see the router r3 from my pc so if i fire the conft command also it will get me into configuration mode of the router so I was in PC firing the command for R3 and I'm able to fire the command using SSH protocol, which is comparatively more secure than telnet. And this was the part of the practical. Thank you. That's all guys from this video. If you really like this video, press like button and do subscribe to our channel. If any queries or suggestions do comment below for more such updates, follow us on Instagram and Facebook.